So guys, um, I'm gonna be showing my face today. First time on the channel, I, it's basically just because I wanna do more real life content and more match vlogs because I mean my underlegged match vlog is basically the most viewed video on the channel. And I wanna do more of those. And I do think that basically uh, match vlogs, I just think we need a little bit more emotion and that's why I'm gonna show my face. So for anyone new on the channel, I haven't showed my face yet. So this is the first time my face is going to be on the channel. Hi, welcome. I have the probably the most basic Dutch face you can have. Um, pretty blonde, I have gel in my hair, so it's a bit darker colored. I'm basically what Hitler wanted. I'm also like for people that you, I mean, you probably already noticed in a few videos of mine. I'm fucking tall. <laughs> I'm really, really tall. Um, I'm 2.03 meters tall. I'm like, I'm legit one centimeter taller than Peter Crouch, which I just really like that fact. I really think that fact is one of the best things in my life. So yeah, this is me. Uh, I'm wearing a Roma shirt. I don't even know why, but today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be rating my experiences at football club so i've traveled around the world i mean around europe let's be honest after i've traveled around europe for football matches and i've been to a few i'm just gonna name a few I've, of course i've been to ajax matches i'm an ajax fan i've been to anderlecht which is my most viewed video i've been to barcelona i've been to west ham i've been to ac milan um I've been to Dortmund. Is that it? Is that it? I don't think it's it. That's it. I've been to Volendam, which I mean, it, it's, it's a bit of a weird one, but yeah. Like I said before, today we're going to be basically just saying what atmosphere I liked the most, the least, the one I liked the most. And I'll just talk about my experience as I go through them. So, first of all, uh, before we start, you can follow me on Momento and Momento is basically an app with, where you can just post every single match that you go to. And I really like the app. I'm not even sponsored by them. I'm genuinely just saying this to, to let people know how good this app is. It's basically like a, fuck, what's the app called? I know there's an app somewhere that's like where you can basically put all the movies you've watched Letterbox, is it Letterbox? I don't know. But basically you can put every single match you've been to on there and you can just rate your experience. And because of the app, I actually got the idea for this video and I did try and find a way to find, to put, I basically wanted to find a way to put my face into videos more. So I think this is a good way to start. So let's get straight into the first one and the one with the worst atmosphere, it's FC Volendam. And for every single, uh, team that we do, I, I'm gonna grab a shirt. Volendam is the only one I haven't got a shirt from because it's another Dutch club. And of course, I'm an Ajax fan. I will never, never, when in my right mind, buy a shirt that's from a different team in the Netherlands. Maybe if I'm doing like a shirt hunting and it's legitimately the only shirt in like a 10 mile radius, but otherwise, I won't buy a single shirt. Or like, it could be possible if I find a shirt that's like the size of a friend of mine and he supports a different team. Because I do have quite a lot of friends that support different teams. But Volendam, I mean, I went there as an Ajax fan. Um, we played shit. We played really shit. And I'll be honest, the ultras, ultras of Volendam are pretty decent. Like, they're genuinely pretty good. But... It's just a bit too quiet for me. And I know Dutch football isn't the best in the world, but I did expect a bit more. So, hey, I'm gonna just gonna, I'm just gonna grab the shirts from matches I've been to. I have also been to one Netherlands match in my life, but I'm not really gonna talk about it because I think that that's an entire country supporting their country. So it doesn't really count in this video. 
So, the worst atmosphere, which is really hard. Like, genuinely, after Fallen Dama, I genuinely don't really know what I would say is the worst atmosphere. I'm gonna go for Barcelona. And that that's not even, like, I really find it weird to say this because I've been to a El Clasico where Messi and Ronaldo played against each other, but Ronaldo scored, got a red card, and Real Madrid won 3-1. Messi also scored a penalty, which is great for me because it was genuinely one of the best moments in my life seeing these two play against each other. But because Real Madrid were losing, um, uh, were winning, I'm sorry, because Real Madrid won, the atmosphere was meh. Like, they, it was still great, like a lot of fans, you can hear the fans from anywhere around the city and it's insane how good they are. But because of the match itself, I've been to two Barcelona matches and one of them, Real Madrid won 3-1 and the other one was this se last season, Real Vallecano against Barcelona. Nil, nil, three goals that just didn't count. I don't even remember what it was. I think they were all offside. It, it, it could have been better. It could have been a lot better, but that's the only reason why Barcelona is in this place. Because with all the other matches, they were just insane. Like the fans were insane and they won or drew like an amazing match. So after, Barca, it's going to be Anderlecht. Like, I genuinely was so surprised at how great Anderlecht fans were. But the Charleroi fans in this match um, were better in my opinion. And that's not even like saying something bad about Anderlecht because the fans were amazing and the atmosphere was great. I got a bit drunk. So, if I get drunk at a football match, I know the atmosphere is great. But it's it's insane like on the left you really surprised me in a good way but it's just that the other the other were just better so after that um west ham against leeds in england i support leeds so i'm kind of depressed and i'm not gonna watch english football in a while so i'm gonna put the leeds shirt back down west ham Stadium is insane, like genuinely one of the best stadiums I've been to uh, looks-wise. And I mean, I got Declan Rice on the back, he played amazing. But I I just, the, the only thing I don't like about English football is that they don't really have an ultra section. And I know that sounds like the most European thing, if you don't count the United Kingdom as European, of course. But I just, I genuinely think that if, even though like something great about this is what basically the entire stadium felt like they were together. Like it felt more like the entire stadium was, and all the fans were one instead of just different sections, which I still think is great, but I did kind of want to see a lot of bald, fat English men screaming with beers in their hands. And I did find them, but on the street and not, <laughs> not in the stadium. I still really like the match though. 3-1, 4-1, was 4-1 or 3-1? Oh my God, I don't remember. Like four West Ham basically, it was an insane match. Once again, I got drunk. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then, it's going to be the last match that I got drunk at. AC Milan. I went to Milan against Lecce from last season with my dad. Uh, it was basically a gift because I graduated from my school that I went to at the time and I genuinely, I tried so hard and I failed a couple of times, but I did eventually get there and my dad promised me that he would take me to a match outside of the Netherlands. And I chose to go to AC Milan. Basically, I wanted to be in the San Siro. I wanted to be at the San Siro before it got destroyed. I can still go now, but I just wanted to be there. I got Ibrahimovic on the back. This is the last season he played, of course. 
which I'm really sad because I went there and I wanted to see Ibra play, but he, did, he didn't get subbed on. He started on the bench, didn't get subbed on. It's still one of the best players I've ever seen in my life. It's Ibrahimovic with Milan. And I. <laughs> this is generally one of my favorite memories because this, the atmosphere was insane, like genuinely insane. I was there with my dad. It was really emotional. Uh, that, that's generally the, one of the first time that I got really, really drunk together with my dad. And I like it. I like, that's something that I really like. I didn't remember going back to the hotel, but I really liked it. I, that, that is why it just, it's something special to me. Like this match that I went to is something really special to me. I love the fact that I went with my dad and I want to do it again with him someday. So yeah, that's why it's second place. But one of the weirdest matches in my life, genuinely the best atmosphere. I went to Borussia Dortmund against Man City in the Champions League last year. And I'm so happy that I did. Matteo, if you're watching, thank you so much for the opportunity. I got Bellingham on the back, which is insane. I got a Champions League sleeve patch because we were going to a Champions League match, which is something that I really, really like. And the yellow wall was insane. I basically sat next to the yellow wall. It's insane. It was a nil-nil draw once again, but it didn't matter. Like this is generally one of the first times that it didn't matter that the match itself didn't have a lot of goals because the atmosphere was insane throughout the entire match. I'm just so happy that I got, wait, got, I got to go to this. Kobol actually saved the penalty from, was it Haaland? I don't think it was Haaland, but Kobol saved the penalty. And that's why this, Genuinely, I don't even know how to tell you this, but the yellow wall were jumping the entirety of the 90 minutes. They were amazing. They were insane. Every single fan that I met outside of the stadium was insane as well. And I went with one of my best friends to this match, which is also a good memory. So if you enjoyed this video, oh my God, I forgot Ajax. Number one is Ajax Amsterdam. And there will probably be a lot of match vlogs from, from Ajax matches. Uh, I mean, I'm probably not going to put them one, let's be honest. I'll probably put Ajax third though, I'm like all around. I went, actually went to Ajax Dortmund in the Johan Cruyff Arena. And we beat them 4-0, which is, that is genuinely my favorite match that I've ever been to. So technically, I could say Ajax first. I'm gonna put Ajax first. I'm not gonna talk about Ajax because I probably already did in a lot of videos. So, after hanging this straight back on the rack, I wanna thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you wanna see more. Let me know what videos I should do next. I have a couple of videos planned out, which will be insane. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you around in a bit. Bye.